So what happened, Andy? It was in the comments. We posted a grilled cheese video not too long ago, which we it's now griddled cheese. It's got to change. Cheese. It's got to change. Uh, a lot of requests for more griddled cheeses. Let's go. Caramelized onion and spinach and boars in. I'm going to call it a garlic and herb. Is it a grilled cheese, though? I, it might be a melt. Yeah, it it might be a melt. Though? It's delicious. Let's start with our sweet onion. Now I do want to cut this kind of thin. We don't need mandolin thin, like we're not doing smash burgers, but I do want them kind of, I want them to break down uh, as we cook them, because we're going to cook them for quite a while. Like this is the longest part of the cook. We're talking 15, maybe 20 minutes just on the onions, but trust me, it is worth it. Uh, olive oil, butter, and then add your onions down and then some of our lemon peppercorn seasoning and let it cruise. Let it cruise. Toss every once in a while. I mean, like don't go overboard. Like every three or four minutes, you can give it a toss. Don't keep tossing it. Uh, but essentially you're looking for it to soften up and then it will start to caramelize. And that's what we're looking for. Now let's get to our cheeses. The star of the show, perhaps the gold star, star bores in. Like if it were in elementary school, it would have like five gold stars. Uh, that's a delicious cheese. Just open it up, leave it on the side. That's for later for the toast. But before we get that, uh, let's talk about our sauce. An aioli is just mayonnaise with garlic, essentially. So this is like fancy mayo. Mayo, lemon juice, a bit of that lemon peppercorn. It's not completely changing your mayo, but it's making it brighter. Like it's like it's like your mayo had a smile. Like that, uh, Andy? What's your name? I'm Ethan? Andy. Andy? Ethan's not even here. Nope. <sighs> what an idiot. <laughs> Keep that in there. Yeah. Keep it in there. I am in Florida, so I do have some Cuban bread. Uh, use whatever bread that you like. I wanted to change it up a little bit. Most of the time, grilled cheese looks the same with like the sliced bread. I wanted to go with the loaf. I am a huge fan of texture. Texture is where it's at. So once we have a nice light toast, that's when we can bring our bread back over to start cruising. One last little thing I like to do, and I do this at the end, uh, baby spinach. Add a decent amount because it shrinks. It's like the opposite of the Hulk, even though it's green. Ooh. When it gets angry and hot on the griddle, it shrinks down. Oh, that was nice real well. bad. Thank you, CJ. It's a pity laugh in the background. Uh, toss it together with the onions. You'll notice it all start to shrink down. If you do this too soon, it loses its color, it loses its vibrancy. And I still want it to taste like spinach and, and have like a little bite to it. Uh, now we're ready to go with our borzen on our bread. I did leave this sitting out so it's a bit softened, uh, just like butter, baby. We're going to spread that across that toasted uh, Cuban bread. CJ was trying to make fun of me say it wasn't Cuban bread. It's delicious Cuban bread. We're also going with sauce. A little bit of sauce or a lot of sauce. This is up to you. It's your grilled cheese. Make it the way you want to. Sauce and grilled cheese in the same sentence. Maybe it's a melt. I don't know. I don't know the science behind it. I'm not a grilled cheese. I didn't go to grilled cheese college. What I do know is this is delicious. So once we put the onions and mound it up, don't be afraid. Uh, let's go in with some mozzarella. Use any cheese that you like. I'm a fan of the shredded. You sliced if you want to, but the shredded for me just, it has a different look and feel at the end. Uh, the onions, the spinach, way more cheese. Add that topper and let's toast it, or let's finish melting and toasting the side that we haven't toasted yet. Uh, if you want to, this is a pretty heavy duty sandwich. Andy called it a pile, a, a gorgeous, pile of delicious pile of food. Uh, use a dome. Flip it over a couple of times. You want enough heat and you want it long enough so that the cheese on the inside does get that gooey, ooey, ooey, gooey. Gooey, ooey? Ooey, gooey. Ooey, gooey, gooey. Ooey, gooey. gooey, gooey. Uh, and then when you're done, it's, 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 it's a certain kind of magic. It's grilled cheese magic. Uh, I'm gonna cut it on a bias just because I think it looks a little nicer. I don't know, man. I don't think it's a grilled cheese. Yeah. It's it a melt? Let me know in the comments. Is this a grilled cheese or it's something good? I'm gonna take a bite of this. Maybe you're right. Maybe this is melt or something. Here, uh, maybe not. Dude, I've like made non-beard friendly stuff for the last like few months. This seems pretty beard friendly. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm. Can you hear the crunch? I can't hear the crunch. It sounds amazing. First thing I get is the sweetness of the onions. It's next level. We didn't add a ton of the borzen, but that garlicky flavor really punches through. This is awesome. Definitely not a grilled cheese. I think all grilled cheese are beard friendly. Hey, but... where were you the last part of this episode where we were talking about that? Oh, where were you? Mm hmm. It's all about texture. That crunch, that extra crunch, toast the inside, flip, and then build. Pro move, do that. Whether it's a grilled cheese or not, I'm down for this. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. And if you haven't had Borzen, it's usually like where they find all like the olives and stuff or like the nice fancy cheeses in your grocery store. Thank you for hanging out. Let me know in the comments. Is this a melt or is this a grilled cheese? I think it's grilled cheese. I don't know. Uh, let me uh, let me know what you would like to see in future episodes. 
uh, any recipes, anything you would like to learn how to make. This is Cookie Repeat, where we'd like to help you become a better cook one recipe at a time. I'm your host, Chef Nathan Lippy, and I will see you all in the next episode. Let me know what kind of grilled cheese I should do next. Uh, it's like a whole bunch of them. Uh, yeah. Or any grilled cheese. Get out. Yeah.